Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hey, welcome back to another one of our course vlogs. This time we're out here at a fantastic Long Beach public course, Skylinks Golf Links, right next to the airport. There might be some planes flying overhead, messing up the audio, but hey, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just hope a golf ball doesn't take one of those things out. If you haven't before, please click the subscribe button down below. We'd love to see you here week after week for some more golf. And at the end of the video, if you like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. We'll see you out there on the first hole. Here we go. Being next to an airport, we can't fly drones here. So we're going back to the old school map on the side for this vlog. And as you can see, it's 225 yards to the water from the black tees here off the first hole. So it's just a simple 200 yard six iron down the middle. A little off to the left with this shot, but I did have a clear shot into the green. And to this front flag, I hit it a little bit long. It just jumped off the face out of this Bermuda rough. That's really the key difference here at Skylinks compared to all the local courses around, especially the Long Beach courses. This has got Bermuda grass from tee to green. It's got Poana on the greens like we're used to around here, but that fluffy and dense Bermuda is a lot different than the Kikuya that we are used to on all of the local courses here in Southern California. Now here, the second hole is an awesome par five. The longest one on the front nine at 570 yards. Just avoid the bunker down the left, which is 265 to clear off the tee from the black tees, but this one I, hit well off to the right hand side it's not really cutting a corner because there's just a ton of tall trees in your way so that was just a nine iron here to get it up and over the trees and back onto our fairway and now i'm facing just a nice 83 yards to a middle flag this is a very treacherous green as are most of the greens here at Skylinks. The course got renovated in the early 2000s, so it's rather new for sitting on an old piece of land here next to the airport. And these greens are treacherous and multi-tiered. You're gonna have to be close in order to not have a putt up or down a severe slope. Able to lag that one close and a nice comfy tap in par. And we're on to the third hole here very treacherous off the tee bunkers down the right in play and water long in play as well gonna have to throttle back with the three wood and i hit a terrible shot right into the trees dead left and this here had to be a precise little punch shot underneath the trees in order to get it to fly the correct distance and round the corner of the water here to the front of the green Luckily, it didn't roll too far. It was right here on the fringe. It was actually a beautiful punch shot and just a nice cozy 30 footer down there for a comfy tap in par. Now you see here with the numbers on the right, it's 260 to go through the fairway and 295 yards to clear all the trouble on the left. It's a very, very precise tee shot required here on the fourth hole. So I'm going to take my three wood once again, which I can play a big, nice draw on, get about 290 yards out of it, leave myself a nice gap wedge right here. Not a horrible leave right underneath the hole. Let's see if we can get one back and get back to even par. It's not going to be another comfy tap in par and we're going to be on to the first par three of the day. And this one plays 185 yards and it plays right underneath a landing flight path. Now that's about as good a timing as I could have possibly asked for for that shot. I don't know if I've scared the pilot or not. Who knows? He probably wasn't even looking at me, to be honest. And this is a very long putt. I hit that seven iron to the back of the green and did not get that birdie putt close. But luckily, I was able to roll in the five footer here for par to keep those pars rolling and stay here at one over par. Now here, the par five sixth hole is going to be a threaded drive right between the two fairway bunkers. Perfectly reachable. Thank you. 
Now I hit this drive perfect, but unfortunately I turned it over just a little bit and it landed straight in the middle of the left hand bunker. Now I thought I could take my four iron and get it there, but I hit it fat. And when you hit it fat, it just goes right down the middle of the fairway, luckily. So I left myself actually a perfect layup. 145 yards was playing back into the breeze. So I clubbed up to my nine iron and tried to just play it adjusted and hit a very good shot here just beyond the hole and had a makeable one here from the fringe. Come on, keep rolling, keep rolling. That's all right. It's just another comfy tap in par. Now here's the number one handicap on the golf course. Bunch of trouble on the outside of the dog leg and plenty of trees on the inside of the dog leg protecting the cut of the corner. Now it's another three wood for me here as I'm trying to land it between the two bunkers on the fairway, but the wind was at my back and this thing sailed over the first bunker. Got a big kick and was just next to the second bunker. Luckily, you can see there's not much trouble in front of me here and I had a clear shot into the green. Played a perfect pitching wedge right underneath the hole and had 15 feet for birdie. Just can't get any of these birdie putts to drop. It's just comfy par after comfy par. Now this is a tricky par four playing 380 yards and it's a very severe dog leg to the right. I try to play my three wood, but it turns over a lot and it turned over right into the bunker, hit the face of the bunker and splashed out over the top, landing here on the backside of the bunker with this awkward dirty lie. And because the ball was severely above my feet, it went way further left than I anticipated. Landed here in the tree next to the green, bounced out onto the car path. So I took my drop right here next to the path, chipped it up onto the green, not quite too close, and tried to roll in the long, long par putt, but it wasn't meant to be. And the second bogey of the day drops us down to two over par, and we're heading into the difficult par three ninth hole, Playing 225 yards to the middle, this was 235 to a back flag. That was a perfect four iron, just barely back into the breeze, landing pin high for another 25 to 30 foot birdie putt. And I don't think this one's gonna go in either, but maybe, just maybe. Ugh. Another one, just barely a little bit short, and another comfy tap-in par to close out the nine. Uh, thank you everyone so much for joining us. Stay tuned for the back nine coming out next week. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button down below. We'd love to see you back. Later.